Now, the UN Security Council has condemned North Korea for its ongoing human rights violations for a fourth year in a row. The meeting went ahead on Monday despite strong opposition from Pyongyang's longtime traditional ally, China. Park so Yeon with the details. The UN Security Council has adopted North Korea's human rights violations as a formal resolution and discussed ways to improve the matter at its fourth annual meeting on the regime's human rights abuses. The meeting was convened at the request of countries such as the United States, Britain, France and Japan. North Korea's overall infringement of human rights were pointed out, as well as issues regarding political prisoner camps, overseas labor workers, the repatriation of North Korean defectors, as well as South Korean and Korean American detainees. UN Human Rights Chief Zaid Rod al Hussein asked the Security Council to examine the impact sanctions may have on human rights conditions in North Korea and said measures need to be taken to minimize their adverse humanitarian consequences. Ahead of the meeting, China expressed its opposition to the move, saying it's inappropriate for the Council to handle the human rights issue of an individual country. Beijing's UN representative also said the meeting may further escalate tensions on the Korean Peninsula. With the meeting going ahead, the 15-member Security Council formally adopted the North Korean human rights violations issue through a procedural vote. Ten countries voted in favor, while China, Russia and Bolivia voted against. Egypt and Ethiopia abstained. The permanent members of the Security Council may not wield their veto, and the agenda can be discussed if at least nine countries vote in favor. The systematic human rights violations and abuses of the North Korean government are more than the cause of its people's suffering. They are a means to a single end, keeping the Kim Jong-un regime in power. The UN Security Council reiterated that North Korea is failing to abide by international law in spite of increasing global pressure. The members also expressed their hope to improve the cruel and merciless conditions North Koreans have to endure under the Kim Jong-un regime. Park Soyeon, Arirang News.